Welcome to another Fast Tip from Vast. One of the things that we don't talk a lot about are the compositing tools that are found inside of Vegas. But compositing can really be fun in this application and you can do some pretty cool things. So this first trick I'm going to show you or this, this next fast tip I'm going to show you works in both Vegas Movie Studio and in uh, the Sony Vegas Pro 9 or 8 or they, actually all of the other versions of Vegas that are out there. Pretty simple trick, but I'm going to show you how to create a mask and use the mask to allow other things to pass through the mask. So these features, again, are found inside of both versions of Vegas, the Vegas Platinum and Vegas Pro. So let's dive in and look at how we can create a mask. All right, I've got two pieces of media here on the timeline, and these are brought to us by our friends over at Artbeats. So we've got the young woman here, and then if we look down below, I've got some uh, amorphic, just moving, morphing pieces of molten glass. All right, so let's first start by creating a new track for a mask. So Control Shift Q to create a new track. We're going to right click in here and choose Insert Generated Media. And we're going to go to our color gradient. And this is going to open up our color gradient tool. Now for this particular type of mask, what I want to do is I want to make it be kind of circular in nature. So I'm going to go choose Elliptical. And we'll drag out one of our, our image pieces here. Great. And we can drag this in or as, as far out as we'd like. Anywhere where it's really bright white, that's where our image is going to be the strongest or the most clear. So we'll just drag the second one out. So we've got a little bit more of a feather to it, so it's taking a little bit of time to, to feather out. I'm just going to make it about that size. And let's pull it off mostly to the side here so it's not quite so bright off onto this other side. This might be usable for a DVD menu, or maybe you've got uh, an information card where you want to put some text off here to the side. So let's go ahead and, and kick that up. Great, so there we've got our, our image. All right, now we're going to go grab our mask generator tool. So let's go to video effects and go to our mask generator. We're going to drop that right on the track, right on the track header right here. And you can see immediately how that's allowing the information to pass through. We want to invert it so that now we're letting her information pass through the, uh, the picture that's there. Great, we've got that. And for the time being, we're going to let that remain just right where it is. So we'll close it. And we can see that we're cutting off her image here. Plus, we want her a little brighter off to the side. So we're going to go grab our track motion tool for her, her video track. And let's just slide her a little, little bit more over to the side here. And we'll slide her up so she's in the mask there nicely. Great. And so we've got her masked out and we've got this blank area over here. Now, let's make her track track number two, child of the first track. So this track becomes a child of the upper track. If you can think about this bend that goes over the track as being a parent's arm going around the shoulders of their child. So this is the parent track. This is the child track. We're now going to put this parent mode into a mask, just like that. And now we see the, uh, the image combine, and we've got a com combination of the three modes that are there. So let's just roll this through and let it play. Now, we can go in and we can fine-tune that mask a little bit that we've created. And you can kind of see here the edges of the mask and, and how that's coming around. But it might be that we want to tighten that up just a little bit. So let's go to our master track or our parent track and go to our track effects. And now we can start to work with that mask just a little bit to shrink it and make it harder or enlarge it. We can tighten it up just a little bit to let more of her shine through there if that's what we want to do. We can tighten it up or fade it in or out as much as we'd like. Okay. And we can, of course, just blend the overall images together. But we don't quite want to go there because now we can see the edges of, of what's happening in, in her piece. So we can do quite a bit with that mask. Now, that's not all we can do. We can even go in and let's open up our generated media tab. And we can begin to adjust that mask even more. So if we want to make it more elliptical, We'll move it up so it's a little bit more around her face there. So you can see how we can manipulate that quite a bit. We can soften it up, tighten it up, make it very, very harsh if that's what we want to do. So we can do quite a bit with the, the mask piece as we're working with it to smooth it out and, and bring it to the style and the look that we want it to have. So here we've composited the two of them together and we've got her nicely dim in the background there. Nice pretty composite with some space off to the side that we could put some additional text and we might even want to tighten that mask up just a little bit more. But there's more that we can do with it. So if we go in and we change the uh, parent mode back to source alpha so it's in its default mode and we modify just the track mode we turn that into a mask. Okay, 
now we can see a little bit of a different image. We can see that full mass coming off to the side there. We're back out of our 4x3 realm. So now we're going to change a couple things up. So let's go and re-invert our mask. So now she's, she's showing through. Now we can see that we might need to tighten up our gradient so that she's not quite so far on the outside there. There we go. We can smooth that up if we need to and pull it off to the side a little bit more if that's what we need to do there. But we're back in a 16 by 9 mode, so now let's take this underlying media and convert that to 16 by 9. There we go. Now we've got a nice little mask that's happening. And again, we might want to use our track motion tool to center her up more into the mask area or get her to be uh, where we'd like her to, to sit. And again, if we want, we could take this even farther over. So let's slide her over just a little bit. Great. Now we're going to go in and modify our mask just a little bit more. We'll slide it also off to the side. We've got a nice pretty look there. Now again that might be a little bit too hot. There might be too much over there so maybe we can even just reduce some of the throughput just by reducing the opacity. Here's a really simple way that you can build a DVD menu or maybe you've got a, a wedding card or a title card or something like that. Maybe you just want to send somebody a video greeting card but this is a way that you can use those masks to cut things together. There's a thousand ways that we can use masks the way that I've just shown you how. This is just some, some basic compositing that you can get into and play with. So play with the parenting modes, play with the parent composite modes, and play with the track composite modes. And we'll look at more of these tips in later Fast Tips from Vast. Check out Vast.com for more information about what you can do with your nonlinear and camera tools.